This is Lukerdowski of WeAreChange.org, and I'm here with Popeye of FederalJack.com. Now, of course, a lot of you people know about FederalJack.com, but you don't know the man behind it, and that's Popeye. Popeye is also a vet, a 911 first responder, and he's here in South Beach, Miami, doing really good work. So, Popeye, I mean, we're here in Florida. What are the most important issues going on in Florida right now? Uh... Well, one of the big things I'd say is uh, vote yes on two in November. That's medical cannabis. In fact, you were just talking to uh, one of the cannabis moms today with me, uh, Renee Petro, and uh, it, her son would benefit from this. Not only would children benefit from it, veterans, old people, young people, everybody, access to medical cannabis, full plant, yeah. not just one little specific type of oil made from a – that would only benefit – a small select group of people. I'm talking full plant that everybody could get, you know, glaucoma, cancer, epilepsy, stomach problems, full nine. So Proposition 2 um, is going up to be voted on. Mm -hmm. um, it's being petitioned. What stage are we in right now? No, it's, and it's full on vote. Okay. It's going to be a constitutional amendment. That means that 60% it's, it's of the state votes it in, done. Yeah. Over wow. and done with. And then medical marijuana is now legal. Yeah, like, well, it'll take like six to eight months for the state to actually implement anything. Yeah. But yes, it would technically, it would be legal. It doesn't mean that people can run out in the street and you know start smoking <laughs> cannabis in the streets or anything like that. But yes, I bet there'll just, be many of those people celebrating that day. Um, probably, but yeah. it's a step in the right direction. I mean, yeah. this is a southern state. You've been down here, dude. Yeah. You know, Cal uh, listen to me. California is a uh, a very liberal state, and for them to um, to, to legalize it when they did wasn't a big, I mean, it was a big deal because it was, ooh, you know, medical cannabis, ooh, but it was kind of expected. Yeah. This is different. This is a conservative, southern, gator-eating, pickle. Law enforcement, yeah. gator-eating, airboat riding, not that, you know, maybe some of the airboat captains do smoke here or there, probably, but... You know what I mean? This is a hardcore southern law enforcement. Yeah. Florida is really like a no-joke state when it comes to that stuff. They they don't mess around when it comes to law enforcement, and they they you know the the war on drugs. Even though how much how much <clears throat> cocaine cowboys how much cocaine <laughs> through here in the eighties? But anyway, yeah. uh, they don't they don't they don't mess around when it comes to that. So if we can get people in this state to take serious the idea of medical cannabis, dude, it's huge. It's yeah. huge. I mean, how many people will be affected positively yeah. by this? Especially the family, um, Renee's child that we met today. Um, it's going to be another story that we're working on on the other channel. But, uh, you know, now, of, of course, this issue is very important to you. You were, you know, not only a veteran, but also a Nautilus first responder. You went through a lot of crazy stuff, to say the least. Um, now, medical marijuana could be helpful to a lot of people. Um, what kind of um, issues... Or what, what would, you know, legalizing medical marijuana help you with? Me personally? Like, if, I mean, if, if I was able to use it, um, probably pain-wise, pain yeah. management. But, I, I mean, anybody could use it for tissue regeneration. I mean, people, go do your homework. Medical cannabis, well, cannabis in general, makes your body help regenerate tissue. It's amazing. It makes your body do a, a, a amazing things fight cancer or boost your immune system you have an endocannabinoid system in your body ladies and gentlemen it's awesome it makes your uh, immune system it boosts it by like a thousand percent this is stuff you're not supposed to know cannabis is bad bad cannabis stick that joint and put it away you can't smoke that joint you're gonna go out and rape people and burn houses down so stupid yeah, it makes it makes no sense at all, and I know many people also with post traumatic stress disorder. It helps them out a lot. Yes. It's a very it's a very yeah, serious all, issue that we were putting even... aside. It is a very serious yeah. issue, and uh, look, PTS. I don't like to call it PTSD because yeah. it's not a disorder. First of all, let's get something straight. There's a big stigma about PTS. Yeah. Okay, that people don't understand. They think that you have to be in a battle. Oh my God, he was he's a veteran. Luke, he might have. Oh, he might have PTS. No, you could get in a car accident and have PTS. You could get mugged raped, somebody in your family could die, a pet could die, you could witness a car accident not even being involved, you could be standing on the street waiting for a bus and watch somebody get in a car accident and be traumatized by it, okay? That's what tra trauma is. PTS is an extremely normal response to an extremely abnormal situation. Yeah. And what these young men and women are coming back from seeing in, in Iraq and Afghanistan, and let's put 
the, the morals of the war aside for a second, that's a normal response of what their body is going through from what they witnessed and what they went through, being in a war zone, being in constant worry and constant fear. So there is, so all that other stuff aside, looking at them as human beings is important. Stop looking at soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines like they they have leprosy all of a sudden because that's you know the the media is scaring everybody. Oh, mental health, mental health. First of all, you know what else? By the way, legalizing cannabis would get rid of what? Perhaps mass school shootings and mass shootings because the last time I checked, none of these guys were smoking joints and then going and shooting up a school, yeah. but they were all in SSRIs. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. The Velociraptor meme? Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, people need to pay attention to this yeah. stuff. And I'm sure, watch the next shooting, the kid will be a pothead, and I'll probably have a, he'll probably have Bob Marley. <laughs> I highly doubt he'll, that. He'll, I, he'll, I don't, I don't think won't. that will ever, ever happen. <laughs> no, I don't think a kid will smoke a joint and ever do anything really violent. I mean, it, it makes no kind of sense no, at it, all. Well, because in yeah. reality, and, and when I say that, I mean, yeah, he might have, well, I saw him smoke pot, like, Six months ago, Papa. Okay, I'm talking about did he do it regularly, and that's all he did without fail. Yeah. No. You know, this it's ridiculous. People need to look into Rick Simpson. People need to look into uh, making how to make cannabis oil. If you know, if it's in a state where it's legal, I only recommend it there for legal reasons right now. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, expertise, legal advice here, guys. Pay attention, Expert close attention. Legal advice here. Um, Seriously, it, you know, look into it. If you have a loved one that uh, doesn't believe in it, tell them to look into it for themselves. I lost my mother 10 years ago, all seriousness, to cancer. And if I could have, if I could have gotten her to sit down and, like, listen to this stuff, uh, although I didn't know, I knew a little bit about the health benefits, but I didn't fully understand what I know now. If I had the knowledge I had now, and I could go back and get her to sit and listen to it, I might have been able to save her. But I can't. That's not a possibility unless I master quantum physics and learn time travel. Maybe in the future, not right now. I'm a little bit busy trying to save the world with you and everybody else. So we'll, we'll get there when we get yeah. there. But I can at least maybe save somebody else from going through what I went through. My mother didn't have to die at 55. She was young, dude. I mean, how many people's, I mean, not even... I see people now in their 30s getting cancer. Yeah. They just saw a 16-year-old kid die of lung cancer. What? It's insane, yeah. What? 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 Cancer rates are just skyrocketing. And then the medicine that could also help people, and it's, you know, there's scientific studies that says it prevents cancer and deals with cancer and, and does so many amazing things against cancer. The government is just holding the patent on and says, uh, you know, we have something that will cure you and help you, but it may hurt our cash flow, so... Screw you. That's exactly like what they're saying. There's no medicinal value to it, yet they yeah. have a patent on it. Yeah. For, for med medicinal, medicinal use. Purposes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, uh, guys. Yeah. Makes no sense at all. Now, now you've been running Federal Jack uh, for how many years now? Mm, go back to about uh, mid mid 2006 end of 2006 because i remember first you know coming down to miami meeting up with you guys we did some activism you know a lot has changed from 2006 i mean it's been what eight years I already saw those videos i yeah. saw those videos a few uh weeks ago oof we were young back then very young and yeah. very inexperienced <laughs> and very rowdy and very well we didn't care it was interesting we just yeah. we did our thing it was about getting the message across which mattered most yeah and uh I, oh you know what else i found out i i i, I seem to remember when I, I saw the videos i said oh look the original tea party mm -hmm. oh look before it was hijacked <laughs> before it was hijacked by uh pnac and the rest of the uh, neocon, neocon groups out there the, yeah the sarah palin and glenn beck yeah. were just like the original tea party there. groups oh yeah they were the end of fetters remember them the ron paulers oh yeah those crazy bastards yeah yeah it was very interesting to see the major transition because, you know, we never kind of associated with anything. We were always, you know, starting off brand new, brand, you know, just fresh. But, but a lot has changed within the years. Um, what do you think is one of the most important changes that happened within the eight years of, of your work here at Federal Jack? Um, hmm. Deep question. Hmm. Oops, let me think. Uh, I would have to say one of the well, most important ones <clears throat> would probably be the radio show. I mean... Everybody was always asking me to come on like their shows for interviews and stuff, and um, I would I would end up blabbing because I have so much up here. I would end up just monopolizing the show, and I felt really bad, so I would keep my my mouth closed at times. I wouldn't talk, 
you know, I would try to hold back a little bit. And uh, people kept pushing me, and they said, just do a show. And I think the most rewarding thing, honestly, is when I get an email from somebody telling me that I actually changed their life. Because yeah. I don't always do shows about conspiracies. I do stuff about health. I talk about everything, you know. I Veterans cover, affairs. Yeah, right. everything. Veterans affairs, health, uh, conspiracies, politics, news, police brutality. I cover everything, stuff, you know, the occult, uh, stuff that nobody wants to talk about, whatever. I, you know, I, I interview as many people as I can. But I also do shows where I speak from the heart, and I just I keep it real. And I don't get paid to do this. I make no money doing this, okay? Let's get that straight. I love when I get told, you're bought off by the Democrats. Yeah. Um, no, they don't like me. Or you're bought off by the Republicans. No, they certainly don't like me. Yeah. That was my favorite during the Bush years. Bought and paid for by the Republican yeah. Party. Um, do, you, do you read my articles on my website? I'm yeah. attacking George W. Bush. Do you should pay attention? No, you don't. So, yeah, I, I do this for free. I do, it's a labor of love. I do it because... It actually, it actually helps people, dude. I mean, yeah. that's actually humbling, honestly. The most humbling thing, and I know you, you can understand this, when someone comes up to you and says, you gave me strength, your words helped me, changed me, however, dude, that really, that hits home. That's what makes me come back and do my radio show. That's what makes me stand up and give, you know, Renee time or give Sierra Riddle time or any of these other can of moms or anybody else that needs time on my show, that's what makes me do it. That's what drives me to really do it, that stuff. And you're doing a great job. You can find out more on federaljack.com. He's been a good friend of mine for too long, eight years <laughs> doing this for so damn long. We are exhausted. Had a very long day, just drove around long all day, trip. worked all day. Um, and, you know, if you ever get a chance, if you're in Miami, check this guy out. And uh, if you're on the interwebs, federaljack.com.